Hello everybody and welcome back to another Figurehead Reviews video and today we are taking a look at the Marvel Legends Captain Marvel from the Cree Sentry Build-A-Figure Wave and part of the Captain Marvel movie series. We have Captain Marvel displayed here in the front window with the Build-A-Figure piece and goose. We get the movie logo here, her name down there. We get the Captain Marvel logo at the top. We get some artwork here of her wearing her bomber jacket and then we get an expanded look at that artwork in the back. And then we have all the other figures needed in this wave to complete the Cree Sentry Build-A-Figure and at the top we have the read up accompanied by her furry sidekick goose captain marvel suits up to defend the universe from intergalactic threats and down here at the bottom we have the upc code so you can check the local retailer to see if they have this in stock but enough about that let's get this open and take a look at captain marvel and goose and here is Captain Marvel outside of her packaging, holding Goose there, and that is honestly about all this figure is good for. Uh, she has some awkward hand sculpts that is designed to literally hold this cat. Uh, she's wearing the bomber jacket, which I suppose is a cool nod to at least one slightly different look that she has, which is at the end of the film where she's wearing the actual bomber jacket. Uh, we don't get any additional accessories aside from the arm for the Cree Sentry Build-A-Figure, which we'll look at that when we're actually putting the Cree Sentry together. Um, but yeah, this figure is pretty lackluster. Uh, she does come in at about 6 inches tall, which puts her at 15.2 centimeters, so it is your average height. But man, yeah, just not a lot going on. Uh, let's go ahead and take a closer look there at Goose, and then we'll get a closer look at Captain Marvel. And just looking at the goose figure here, or rather the goose accessory, we can see just a playful kitty being held. And uh, similar to the other goose one, it's a decent looking sculpt. We can actually see it looks like a little smile on his face there. And we get those little kitty jelly beans again sculpted in there, looking actually pretty detailed, surprisingly. So that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's not articulated in any way, and it literally just sits there. So... Um, it's cool and all, I guess, the fun little part that Goose plays in the movie, but I don't know if it really should have been the main focus of this bomber jacket version of Captain Marvel. And getting up close, we can see that we actually get a different head sculpt versus the one that we got with the Star Force Captain Marvel and the regular version Captain Marvel. For reference, this is the regular version Captain Marvel uh, head sculpt that we got. And we can see we get a little bit of a smirk with this bomber jacket version, and then her hair looks like maybe it's blowing in the wind versus the other one. And they still came out looking good, though. I like that we still have the consistency of that beauty mark under her left eye. Uh, and I do like that we actually get at least a little bit of an expression on here. And if you did want to, though, if you're not a fan of that particular head sculpt and you maybe want to have the uh, you know hair laying down and just the regular look, and to be honest with you, I think I kind of prefer this one. Uh, I think the hair is what's doing it for me. I don't really care for that blowing in the wind thing. But if you did want to put the other head sculpt on there, you certainly can. And then getting this back on, looking at the rest of the figure here, we can see that we get uh, the bomber jacket there, which is pretty well done. You actually get the logo here on the back, which is kind of hard to see when you get it this up close, but we can see the wings, the star, and then it looks like a bomber plane underneath. If we bring it out, it looks a little bit more, yeah, a little easier to see. Uh, for the most part, this figure does share the similar body mold. We get a little bit different on the neckline there, whereas on the regular Captain Marvel, of course, it goes all the way up. Uh, with the blue on this one, we get the flesh tone instead. But the rest of the body here is the same. Of course, we have different arms for the bomber jacket sleeves, but we still have standard Captain Marvel hands, which if you did want to put the fists that come with the regular Captain Marvel on here, you certainly can do that as well. Looking at the paint real quick, so... That is what the stars should look like on the regular Captain Marvel I got. So we actually get much better paint there than we did on the other one. And then looking at the rest of the figure, it's the same the rest of the way down, though, that we saw both with the Star Force and the regular Captain Marvel. Uh, and the paint looks pretty good. Looking at the articulation, you have a head that can go down quite a ways. Can look up yeah, a little ways, but the hair does get in the way. You have shoulders that can come up. Oh boy, that one seems like it's a little stuck there. This one comes up higher than that one. Yeah, I don't want to force it. I felt like I was... Yeah, there we go. Full rotation. You do have a single-jointed uh, elbow there with rotation at the elbow, and then you do have a hinge and rotation at the wrists. You do have a diaphragm joint that can go back that far, go forward that far. No extra waist articulation. Legs that can come apart that far. Kick forward there, kick back. Yeah, not at all. Upper thigh cut, double jointed knees, which is really deep. 
And then you do have a hinge and ankle pivot. And for a quick comparison, here we have now all the Captain Marvel figures that I have, three of them coming from this wave alone, but we have the comic book version all the way there on the left, and then we have the standard Captain Marvel, the Star Force Captain Marvel, and the Bomber Jacket Captain Marvel. And finally, here is the entire MCU Captain Marvel wave, starting at the left with Nick Fury, then Jan Rog, the Star Force Target exclusive displayed here as Minerva. We have Captain Marvel, the Bomber Jacket Captain Marvel, Kree Sentry Build-A-Figure, Genisvel, the Grey Gargoyle, and Talos. And that about does it for this review, everyone. And make sure to check down below in the comment section. I will be leaving my final thoughts down there, and I would love to hear your thoughts on this figure or the review as well down there, so make sure to leave a comment. Make sure to hit that like button if you like this review. It really helps me out. Subscribe for more content just like this. And aside from that, thanks for watching my video, and have a great day.